हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू देवरत नॉलेज विला यू आर वाचिंग अवर इंग्लिश वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड लर्निंग डेडलॉक टुडेज अवर टॉपिक इज वायोलेशन ऑफ नो प्रियम्सन एंड सर्कुलर वेट एज वी नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग डेडलॉक प्रिवेंशन सो टू प्रिवेंट द डेडलॉक देर आर फोर नेसेसरी कंडीशंस म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूजन होल्ड एंड वेट नो प्रियम्सन एंड सर्क्युलर वेट दीज आर दी नेसेसरी कंडीशंस टू अकर द डेडलॉक सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिवेंट द डेडलॉक सो एनी हाव वी हेव टू ब्रेक एनी वन सीच्युएशन आउट ऑफ दीज फोर सपोज वी आर एबल टू सक्सेस टू ब्रेक एनी वन कंडीशन आउट ऑफ दीज फोर देन वी विल डेफिनेटली प्रिवेंट द डेडलॉक इन अवर अर्लियर वीडियोज we have already discussed the violation of mutual exclusion and violation of hold and wait so guys if you are still remain to watch that video so please click here at i button on top right corner and please watch the video and again come back to here so you will be definitely able to understand the violation of no preemption and violation of circular wait let's start with the uh, first condition that is violation of no preemption to violate the no preemption condition as we have discussed in our introductory sessions with this example there is two processes process p1 and process p2 as well as there are two resources resource r1 and resource r2 right now uh, what is the current scenario here p1 is holding resource r1 and making a request for the resource r2 as well as process p2 holding a resource r2 and making a request for the resource r1 so as for the definition of deadlock both the process are holding one resource and making a request for another resource so look like whatever the resources process p1 and p2 requesting that resources are already held by some another processes in set so they are not getting uh, these resources uh, actually get it so uh, what is happening uh, if any one process will release the resource then and then another process will get the resource so then and then it is possible to uh, sold out this situation it means we are not able to sold out the deadlock condition so let's start with the similar example here there are processes p1 and processes p2 uh, in case uh, our uh, this example we can say that it is a circular weight but here uh, right now in our similar examples we are not considering a circular weight condition because we have already uh, uh, solved circular weight into the uh, next example let's see uh, process uh, p2 is currently holding a resource r2 get it there are two processes p1 and p2 and there are three resources r1 r2 and r3 and right now process p2 is holding resource r2 now suppose process p1 require uh, resources r1 and r2 so process p1 will make the request for the resource r1 and r2 so right now resource r1 is free no one is accessing the resource r1 so it is uh, able to produce resource r1 to process p1 get it but right now r2 is actually hold by process p2 so we are not able to allocate resource r2 to process p1 get it so this request will not fulfill so suppose we want to allocate this resource r2 to process p1 so what there is need to do we have to uh, prevent uh, this uh, process p2 while accessing resource r2 if we will able to stop process p2 while using r2 then and then we can produce resource r2 to process p1 get it so uh, what is our uh, necessary condition that is no preemption get it so to break this uh, no preemption conditions we have to prevent uh, something get it so here there is need to prevent uh, process p2 which is actually using resource r2 but right now if suppose p2 is currently in execution then we can't preempt process p2 why because suppose process p1 
पी टू इज रिक्वेस्टिंग आर थ्री गेट इट सो प्रोसेस पी टू इज एक्चुअली होल्ड रिसोर्स आर टू एंड रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर रिसोर्स आर थ्री इट मीन्स राइट नाउ पी टू इज नॉट इन एग्जीक्यूशन पी टू इज इन वेटिंग स्टेट पी टू इज वेटिंग फॉर रिसोर्स आर थ्री सो इन दिस सिचुएसन वी कैन प्रिवेंट प्रोसेस वी कैन प्रियम्ट द प्रोसेस पी टू वाइल यूजिंग आर टू गेट इट एंड वी कैन एलोकेट रिसोर्स आर टू टू प्रोसेस पी वन गेट इट वाई बिकॉज राइट नाउ प्रोसेस पी टू इज नॉट इन एग्जीक्यूशन पी टू इज वेटिंग फॉर रिसोर्स आर थ्री पी टू इज इन वेटिंग स्टेट लेट सी वॉट वी डिस्कस अर्लियर इन अर्लियर केस पी टू वॉज इन एग्जीक्यूशन राइट नाउ पी टू इज होल्डिंग द रिसोर्स आर टू पी टू इज इन एग्जीक्यूशन सो दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट एबल टू प्रियम्ट प्रोसेस पी टू बट सपोज पी टू इज नॉट इन एग्जीक्यूशन एंड पी टू इज इन वेटिंग स्टेट सपोज पी टू इज वेटिंग फॉर रिसोर्स आर थ्री सो इन दिस सिचुएसन वी कैन प्रिवेंट और प्रियम्ट द प्रोसेस पी टू एंड वी कैन एलोकेट रिसोर्स आर टू टू प्रोसेस पी वन दिस सिचुएसन इज नोन एज ए फोर्सफुली प्रियम्सन एंड वी कैन डू दिस टाइप ऑफ फोर्सफुली प्रियम्सन वेन देर आर हायर प्रायोरिटी प्रोसेसिस आर अराइव्ड गेट इट सपोज पी वन हैज़ अ हायर प्रायोरिटी एज कम्पेयर टू पी टू देन वी कैन फोर्सफुली प्रियम्ट सॉरी वी कैन फोर्सफुली प्रियम्ट प्रोसेस पी टू वाइल यूजिंग रिसोर्स आर टू एंड वी कैन एलोकेट रिसोर्स आर टू टू प्रोसेस पी वन बट थिंग इज दैट वाइल फोर्सफुली प्रियम्सन वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड वन पॉइंट दैट इज वेटिंग स्टेट मस्ट बी सिलेक्टेड एज अ विक्टिम इट मीन्स सपोज प्रोसेस इज इन एग्जीक्यूशन सो वी कैंट प्रियम्ट दैट प्रोसेस वेन एंड वेन वी कैन फोर्सफुली प्रियम्ट दिस प्रोसेस वेन दिस प्रोसेस इज इन वेटिंग स्टेट इट मीन्स वेटिंग स्टेट मस्ट बी सिलेक्टेड एज अ विक्टिम लेट सी विद इवन नॉन टेक्निकल एग्जाम्पल लुक लाइक हियर देर इज अ मेल एंड फीमेल पर्सनस थ्री रिसोर्सिस दैट इज बाउल सूप एंड प्लेट गेट इट एज for the our earlier technical example suppose this female is holding the spoon get it and after few moments this male person is arrived or this man is arrives and man is requesting for the bowl and spoon get it whereas actually spoon is held by this female person but suppose thing is that right now uh, if female is uh, using that spoon it means like a, a female is uh, taking a dinner so we can't preempt this female while using spoon get it so this moment it is not possible to preempt this female while using spoon and we can't allocate this spoon to this man get it so condition is waiting state must be selected as a victim think the one a uh, reverse situation suppose this female is holding a spoon and uh, yet this moment uh, this female uh, not started their dinner and uh, this female is waiting for a plate get it so female have a spoon but to start the dinner female require plate it means right now female uh, not started their dinner so in this case we can forcefully preempt this female to use this spoon get it and we can allocate this spoon to the male person it means suppose at this moment male is putting a request for bowl and spoon then it will be a uh, acceptable and system can allot this two resources to this process get it why because right now we can say that this process is in waiting state hope you are understanding very well by doing two things we can forcefully preempt any process but condition is a process should be in waiting state so we can break this necessary condition that is known as a no preemption to preempt any process the process should be in waiting state get it so indirectly we can say that we can violate the no preemption condition for the deadlock prevention let next condition that is circular wait let's see already we have discussed one example of circular weight look like there are number of processes p0 p1 p2 pn minus 1 up to pn 
and there are several number of resources like resource R1, R2, up to Rn minus 1, Rn and R0. Suppose this resource R0 is holded by process P0 and P0 is requesting for R1, but R1 is, R1 is actually hold by P1 and P1 is putting request for R2, whereas R2 is actually hold by process P2 and P2 is putting next request of resource R3. This procedure is currently available again up to the process Pn and Pn is still waiting for the resource R0. It means it is a circular condition. Everyone is waiting for each other. So how to reduce this circular weight condition? Let's start. First, there is function f is equal to r tends to n, whereas f is one to one function. Here f is a one to one function. n is natural number to resources r. n is a natural number. It means one, two, three, four, five, six and so on. We will allocate natural numbers to the number of resources we have available. Look like we here we are allotted number of uh, resources, uh, resource r1, r2, then so on up to R3, R4, and up to Rn minus 1 and resource R. So there is need to allocate natural numbers to the resources. And what we will do, let's see here. Suppose there is a process P10. Get it? Process P10 and there are number of resources R12, R23, and R54. These three resources required by the process P10 look like we have discussed earlier suppose one process uh, want to copy the data uh, from a uh, tape drive to uh, sorry usb drive to system hard disk and then that process need to print the report so three resources required like usb drive hard disk and printer same here one process p10 is over here and it requires three resources r12 r23 and r54 so what we will do, there is one condition. First condition is request in increased order. Request in increased order means first process P10 have to put request for smaller resources. It means we are, we are, here we are allocated natural numbers to all resources. It is number with the R12, it is number with the 23 and it is number with the 53. So which is uh, lowest number that is 12. So first process P10 will put the request R12 and right now R12 is free. So R12 is allocated to process P10. Next, we, uh, P10 will put the request in increased order. It means smaller to higher. Next higher digit is 23. So next resource allocated to process P10 is 23. And then after next resource allocated to process P10 is 54. But during the execution, suppose process P10 feels like that one more resource required by process P10 and that resource number is R34. But actually R34 is a smaller number than 54. But condition is there is need to request in increased order. So actually P10 requested for 54. So P10 can request more number of or higher number than 54. P10 will not be able to request P34. So what we will do, there is second condition or a second protocol that is release greater before requesting smaller. It means suppose process P10 requires 34, so P10 have to release the resource 54. So next process P10 will release the resource 54 and again process P10 will make a request for 34 and 54. Get it? So which one is lesser number? 34 is a lesser number. So first process P10 will make a request for 30, uh, resource 34. So R34 is allocated to process P10 and then after P10 will make a request for the R54 and then R54 is allocated to process P10. So by using this type of fundamental, we can uh, break the circular weight condition. Get it? So during the violet circular weight what we have to keep in mind we will use function f that is uh, allocating the natural number to all number of resources 
and whenever processes are putting request for the resource so process will put a request into the increased order as well as before putting uh, the smaller re uh, resources they have to release the greater get it so by using these two protocol we can violate the circular weight actually whenever we will read the reference book so there are number of uh, uh, equations written like f of r1 uh, uh, greater than or less than equal to f of r2 and f of r2 less than or greater than equal to f of r3 and so on so don't be confused there is a just a little bit statement release greater before requesting smaller this thing is written into the formula while you are reading a reference book so don't be confused these are the simple terms and you can easily violate the circular weight hope you are understanding very well so finally we can say that we can violate the circular weight to prevent the deadlock so till this moment we have discussed four conditions that is mutual exclusion hold and wait no preemption and circular weight out of these four conditions only in case of mutual exclusion whenever there is a non-serable resources so at that time we can't violate the mutual exclusion but definitely we will be able to violate remaining all three conditions so we can definitely prevent the deadlock thanks for watching devrat knowledge villa thank you very much